As you can see here, I'll be doing the unboxing of Street Fighter VI The Collector's Edition that I finally have. I was going to plan on making a video yesterday, but I had to delay it though since I was just trying to take some rest after after this whole midnight launch release. But I finally managed to get it. Uh, you know, this is actually, a, now I believe a Street Fighter Street Fighter VI is actually the redemption of after the debacle of the fifth game. But I hope this one actually surpasses the the fifth game though so i'll be i'll be opening this up i'm really i'm really excited to play this game though since you know i want to see I, was, I really want to see if capcom really learned their mistake like what they did with resident evil 4 remake though so yeah and i really and when i open this up i really do like the bit of the graffiti look to it because it's a bit of a modern take of the it's still street fighter but it's actually a modern take of it and here's what it looks like right here and the packaging is really, really awesome, though, because it reminds me of, like, when you're wearing a shoebox or something, though, so, yeah. And I gotta be very careful with this, because there's so much tape around here, and I want to cut this very carefully. I hope the insides are okay, though, so that's what's more important, though. Uh, so, yeah. And have you guys seen my video of my Legend of Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition that I did an unboxing last Wednesday? I hope you guys like it, though. And I hope Street Fighter VI, uh, I hope Street Fighter VI is a really, really, really good game. Because uh, in the demo, we get some new, uh, instead of playing like your standard Street Fighter game, we get this new setting, like this so-called open world though. So yeah, and here's the, the uh, sticker set, uh, which I'm not going to open though. And here's the, uh, and here's the physical game right here though, so which I'll be opening it up though, so... No steelbook, which I'm okay with, because at least I got something. It's just kind of like other past uh, Capcom Collector's Edition. Well, I hate when my Resident Evil 4 Collector's Edition got canceled, thanks to Capcom, which I hate when they do that all the time, though. So, yeah, here's the physical game, and here's the uh, here's the one-year Ultimate Pass, which I'm not going to be showing. And here's some of the... And here's the uh, art book right here, though, or the magazine, though, I think. It's a pretty, pretty awesome, though. It kind of reminds me of, like, a magazine, though, once you guys see. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Also. And uh, let's see what's inside. And we got the, uh, wow, we got the figurines right here, though. So, so here it is, the figurines inside which I might be opening, or I might put this on the shelf, who knows. So yeah, they don't look too big or too small. It's a pretty fairly sized figurines, which I appreciate, though, so yeah. And uh, I don't know which character I'm gonna choose for Street Fighter, because it's been a while since I wanna play Street Fighter in the arcade, though, so. And, yeah, I'm gonna open this up. So, yeah. Open. So yeah, here's the uh, here's the unique figurine around here. So uh, pretty pretty standard action figure size, which I'm fine with because it doesn't because it doesn't look overly big or whatever whatever the case is. But you know. Here's what it looks like right here, though. So let me put this on. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good over here. So this, so yeah, this is actually made by Max Factory. And this is actually the same company that actually did all the Figma figures though. So here's what it looks like. Pretty good. Uh, you know, it's not too big or too small. It's a really good size uh, figurine though. So I don't mind that. This one here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay. And here it is, another figurine around here. Man, these hair sure do get pretty fragile though, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Looking pretty good for a 
So, yeah, I gotta, sorry folks, I gotta be very careful with this. So. There we go. And here's what it looks like though, another figurine here. Pretty damn good. So yeah, we got another one here. This is pretty damn good. And I'm pretty sure I want to read the names here again. So this is the uh, Luke and Kimberly. So yeah, these are the two uh, main characters in the sixth game. So this is Luke and this is Kimberly right here. Looking really, really good for a, for, for a Max Factory slash a Figma figure. So yes. And I'm very, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, this isn't really much stuff going on. I, even though there's no steelbook around here, I know I say that a lot, but at least this is not, not as bad as I thought. Uh, you know, I do like some of the art book that we got around here. It looks, like I said, it looked like a magazine. And at least I got the physical copy of the game and we got some a sticker sheet. Got some sticker sheet around here, which I'm not gonna show off as much though, since I'll be doing a whole long ass video for that. So yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like, fair, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below any questions. I'll do more unboxings like this in the next couple weeks. My other collector's edition about, I'll be doing another unboxing of the other collector's edition like Final Fantasy or Master Detective. So I'll be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video, probably in the next few days. Until then, uh, peace the fuck out.